hi guys you're welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to create split screens in premiere pro in this tutorial i'm going to show you multiple ways to create split screens the basic way and the more complex ones as well i'll show you three examples of how to create split screens in premiere pro now inside premiere pro i've already got a couple of clips on my timeline here we are going to start with the classic side by side split screen so in this first step i'm going to place the second clip on top of the first one Reduce the length of this to match with my clip too. And then head over to my effects tab and search for the crop effect. Apply the effects to the both clips and then select the clips on top. Now I'm going to move to effects control tab over here. Now because I'm building a side by side split screen, I need 50% of the width of the crop. So I'm going to crop this. 25% to the left and 25% to the right and 50% will remain in my cropped video. So this is my subject that I choose to use here and he is still aligned in the center. Next I'm going to reposition my clip. Next I'll select the bottom clip and reposition the bottom clip. I'll also apply the crop effect to the left and the right of the bottom clip. And if you like, you can add a border between the two clips. You can do this by repositioning the clips and then move them slightly out of the frame. Another option will be to select the rectangle tool and then draw a border on top of the two clips. I'll go ahead and stretch the rectangle to the entire clips over here. Now you select the border layer and move over to your essential graphics over here and change the color to whatever color you want it to be. I want this to be black, so I'll just hit black and see what we've done so far. Next, I'm going to add a third video to the split screen. First, I'm going to move the border layer here above and I'm going to add the new third video right under the border layer. Next, I'm going to reduce the scale of this video and then reposition it. Apply the crop effect. Crop out the right and the bottom of this clip. And now the important part of the bottom clip now has been affected. So I'm going to select the bottom clip and reposition it. So select the graphics layer and draw a horizontal border. All right, guys. So you can see what it looks like right now. For the next one, I've also got three clips ready on the timeline. So I'll place the three clips on top of each other. Head over to the effects panel and search for radial wipe effect. You will need the one that you can find under the video effects transition, not the one that you'll find under the video transition wipe. So I'll apply it twice to my top clip and move over to my effects control tab over here. I'll set my transition to 50%, my start angle to minus 230, and now I'll play with my wipe center till I get an angle that I'm comfortable with. So in the second video wipe, I'm going to apply transition of 50%. I'll set my start angle to be minus 50 degrees. And I also apply, I also move my wipe center until I've gotten an angle that I'm comfortable with. The next thing you want to do is to select your other clips and reposition them. I'll apply a radial wipe also to this clip so that I can remove this extra over here. So I'll make this 50% in transition. I'll set the start angle to minus 50 degrees and so I'll adjust the wipe center. I'll also reposition my other clip over here. So I'll move this now to so probably this position. The next thing I'd like to do is to add a border here. So what I'm going to do is to create a line. So I'm just going to create 
new legacy title and I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to select this line tool here and I'm going to draw a line. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to increase the width of the line to 30%. Okay. So I'm going to go over to my effects tab and pick up the line I've just created and drop it on my clip. I'm going to go ahead and create another line. draw it and stretch it in between those clips and it's going to cover up any imperfections. I'll change the width 25. I'll close this tab and then drag it above my clips over here. And that's it guys on how to create a split screen in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial to the end. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel.